Hello everyone, I'm Angelo. I've been homeless in Los Angeles for about a month now, before that in Northern Virginia for six months. I'm a filmmaker out here in LA, and I've been struggling since last night. What kind of video am I gonna make today? I thought about doing some funny sketch, whatever, and I really wanna do stuff like that, or something dramatic. And I was so frustrated by like, I don't have anyone on hand I can film with. Um, I don't have much money at all. I got up too late, it's really frustrating. Um, I'm trying to get my measurements done so I can get extra work on film and TV sets. And I had to uh, go get measuring tape, which was actually really easy to get. I just went to Target and got uh, measuring tape. It's in the sewing section. Sewing and like uh, the ironing, ir irons and ironing boards. It was only like three bucks or so. Should I should have gotten it cheaper than that, but I was like, I'm right here, I'll just get it. But uh, I didn't even exercise at the gym today. That frustrated me too. And so I was thinking, I got all these reasons to be frustrated, but there's no time or there's no uh, benefit in getting miserable right now and frustrated. And I was thinking about this, watching this really nice Infinity, and I really like Infinities um, drive by me because they're a really smooth ride. I've driven uh, Infinity, I think it was a G37X when I worked for uh, Enterprise Rent-A-Car and um, smoothest ride I've ever ridden in. But uh, I, I was looking at it driving by and I used to get so like, you know, this urge, like I want that car, you know, I want to drive a nice car. Um, when I would see nice cars go by, I saw it. Now I'm like, I have no desire or benefit for it. Not that I wouldn't enjoy it or want it if I had it, but I don't have any reason to get that car uh, as far as trying to make me feel better or anything. It wouldn't do anything for me. And I was glad to see that because it puts my priorities in order. And it's like, I, my car is already really good. Even though the catalytic converter is out, even though um, it's, uh, it doesn't start right, um, even though I need an oil change and it's underpowered, I'm like, it, it's already good. Uh, I was just restoring the headlights because I was so frustrated again about something else. I'm waiting for this, um, like a homeless uh, aid shelter to open up after lunch, it's lunch hour right now, to see if they, uh, if I could do my laundry there. They allow people to do it on Fridays and they said it's always really busy on Fridays too. I'm like, great, I'm, I have to do it at a regular laundromat, pay 15, 20 bucks or so to do it. But I was waiting and I was, and you know, everything was bugging me. I didn't shave today. I. Uh, I spent a little too much on my money last night. I went to Dollar Tree. Oh, I splurged. No, 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 99 cent store. And uh, I got like 10 bucks worth of stuff, um, like sardines and bananas. I forget what else. But I got to I don't know whether I want to sit inside the car or not, get this nice light. But I was uh, wait, sitting here and I was like, well, I got to do something until this place opens. And I'm thinking about all the stuff I gotta do. I gotta sign up for this extra site. I gotta write more. I gotta, then, you know, plan how am I gonna get jobs? How am I gonna make money? Um, how am I gonna get my script produced and direct this movie? And I'm putting a lot of care into it and making sure it's really, really good and it has high conflict. That's a problem for a lot of new screenwriters is lack of conflict. I'm like, whatever happens, I do not wanna lack that. I don't want it to sound phony or fake. I want this movie to be about homeless people like myself and you know, humanize them. I realized looking up a history of homeless movies or movies about homeless people, they all like, there's not that many that I could find and a lot of them they either like romanticize being homeless or um, great location for, I picked for the video. Or they're like, it's not really about, you know, real life homelessness, it's, be, it might be something like the high stakes thing. And I, w I don't want it to be low stakes, but I want it to be kind of real. And uh, actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen um, Sean Baker's films, Florida Project and what was it, Tangerine, I think. And I think those are about homeless characters as well. I'd like to see those because I hear they're really good. But other than that, I, I'm not aware of many stories about homeless people. And I want to show something that humanizes them, that makes them funny, sad, you know, the regular emotions and showing what's like along with this story that's inserting a specific challenge, a specific goal, a specific threat, 
keeping it low budget. I'm like, well, okay, I'm on my way. I've been typing it. And uh, so I decided right now, since I have a little time, I'm going to restore my headlights because they, you know, I drove across the country. I restored them beforehand with the, the rubbing compound. It's really easy to do. Don't buy those crappy Rain-X kits for 25 bucks. Get $6 rubbing compound from a hardware store like Home Depot. Just rinse the headlights off first with water, wipe them clean, wipe a little dirt off them. Get those like blue paper towels. Don't get regular paper towels, they'll tear up. Get like blue paper, or you can get the thick ones, but those like blue car paper towels. Then uh, get another paper towel, get the rubbing compound on there. Like open up the cap, it's just like a little jar of like turtle wax or something practically. Dip it in the rubbing compound, it's like this white cream, rub it on there and it, it just keep rubbing it and then wipe it off. And because the sun's so hot and bright, I had to use a little bit of water to wipe it off because it was drying so fast, restored them. They're looking good. Actually, I'll show you right now. But it was nice to do that because I was thinking I have no time and no benefit in feeling sorry for myself. I have to keep doing something at any given moment. So look how I can't even see this screen. What am I looking at? It is so bright. Yeah, it's too close. That is restored and look, looking good. I even got a little rubbing compound around like here. I don't know if you can see, the screen is like black because the sun is so bright. But made it a little shiny because it's like wax. And again, right here, if you can see that. So that's nice. I want the car to, um, you know, the headlights to be bright because I want people to be able to see me at night. I want to be able to see at night. I cleaned the window last night as well. I keep having to do that. So I was like, there you go. Just always do something so I'm not feeling sorry for myself. Like there's nothing going on and I just have reasons to sulk and complain. Because also, you know, my you know, depression, anxiety, all that stuff gets to me too. Uh, my, my feelings of depersonalization, derealization, those get to me sometimes. And the thing is out here, I really cannot get sick. Like when I got disabled for nine months, that cannot happen. My parents at least took care of me when I was um, disabled for nine months. I can't have, that cannot happen out here. I can't do that. So, uh, you know, I'm really trying to keep track of, like keep account of if I'm not feeling well or something, don't just fixate and linger on the feeling for me, this is what benefits me at least. My truck's pulling up right next to me, check this out. But keep moving forward, like keep fixating on what I want and trust that the negative feelings will kind of go by the wayside, which thankfully worked. I was getting a little scared, I was getting a little depersonalized where I hear music and it like makes me jump out of my body in a way feeling um look up angelo was disabled for nine months you'll see me talk about that story and uh whatever time it is now i just gotta keep doing something even if i'm like oh i didn't exercise today i'm not losing enough weight all that stuff doesn't matter just keep going and keep a sense of who i am and the stories i want to tell because i am getting closer to telling those stories that i want to tell and directing stuff and you know as lonely as i was feeling like i don't have anybody i can film with here i wish i could film a video with someone with moist andy with my mom um just gotta keep doing stuff uh, generating content um you know the good thing is for me being on youtube worse things get it's almost more compelling the videos and this is all like research i'll get out of the sun this is all like research for um my movies and like all these experiences so um i'm gonna check on when the uh um, that homeless uh, center that has, gives laundry services, they're gonna open up in a little bit, hopefully. And if they're busy, I'll just go to a laundromat. I have to wash my clothes now. I'm like practically all out of clothes, but hey, I had clothes enough for, uh, to last a month, basically. So that's really good, or like 28 days. And um, then I'm going to check on job. Oh, I gotta measure myself. I, got, I don't even know how to really measure myself, but I'm gonna measure myself. Uh, and um, apply to the uh, be an extra, get extra work. I, I think I can get extra work, and I got a lot of events I'm going to, so that's good. And it's building on my confidence, so I'm always phobic about meeting people, about saying hi or whatever. But I'm realizing, for the most part, everyone wants you to around here, and they want to hear what you do. They're they're the ones, you know, thirsty for a vision of someone who can show them, hey, here's this amazing thing. 
you know, we can do. We don't have to do the same thing all the time. And I'm going to be the person who shows them that. Uh, and I have my own YouTube channel, my own distribution network to do whatever. And there's so much I got to learn editing, coloring, all that stuff. So frustrated thinking about all that, but it's just given me more confidence to say, go out and just do it and meet people. And by the way, meeting people is really simple. Usually when I'm at film events, I say, hi, how are you? What's your name? They'll say their name. I say, do you have a card? A lot of times they do, sometimes they don't. I'll say, well, can I get your email? You know, I'd like to be in touch with everybody. I'm a YouTube filmmaker. Sometimes that's it. That's the whole conversation. Other times, uh, I have to, uh, people stay engaged in conversation, ask more about what I do. I'll ask about what they do, and that's good. And I want to keep, you know, deepening those relationships because eventually I may call on all you people out there that I've come across to uh, work with me on a feature film or a short film or a TV series or a music video. And um, I've got to keep following. Oh, there's something else. There's another place I'm, I might go to today. I'm hoping. I can go to, I'm waiting to hear from someone if I can check a location for this video I'm going to shoot. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be cool. So I was realizing just, thank goodness, you know, like I couldn't have come any earlier to LA, I think. I would have been too miserable. I had to take all the lessons I've learned over the years and me, some people can come here younger. I had to wait until I was 34, which is what I am now, uh, to come here. So um, I had to learn all those lessons over the years of how to deal with hard times, of bad times, studying all kinds of people, their careers, their lives, people like um, Viktor Frankl, Jordan Belfort, um, Leo Buscaglia, uh, Sean Stevenson, uh, many others too, and the examples and the lives that you know are people modeled of like how they became filmmakers or whatever they did. And just getting my own experiences too. So it just came to a point where I'm like, it's intolerable for me to stay in Virginia and not go to Los Angeles. So now uh, I gotta keep working. Uh, can't wait around. I got to uh, check on the laundry, see if I can get to this location, get my own measurements. I don't even know how to do that. I know it's gonna be complicated. And uh, write and check up on maybe at least one job situation, see if I can get a job. All right, that's it, everybody. Bye.